Hello and welcome to this video playing Hassana Tugural um, and a Sicilian. Okay, Knight of Six. So my normal line that I've played for a long, long time has been this Knight C6 line. Okay, so that's giving me the two bishops, and obviously if I play bishop takes, then white can get the bishop back. So I'm going to play this, and then usually play e5 pretty quickly. Um, so that would be my first first idea. But we could do something a little bit slower here and play e6 and bishop e7, and then just expand gradually. No, that's okay as well. But I do like the fact that, you know, if we play e5 now, this knight kind of got to go back. One possibility is rook b8 as well, just to just see what what white is doing about this um, b-pawn. I quite like this, because we're getting this rook onto an open file with tempo, so let's try that. It seems like the wrong type of move, but he's very quickly playing b3. So that takes away the b3 square for the knight. So I think I'm going to go ahead with... Um, e5 now, now that he's deprived himself of that square, and then we can maybe even think about, okay, I didn't, didn't think about knight f5, I um, mean, I feel like I want to just take that and just start expanding, I mean, we've got, we've got queen a5 here, with tempo, and we can play that now, but, queen a5, check, Bishop d2. Okay. I'm going to try not to get in such time trouble as I normally do. So what happens if just queen a5 now with the attack on the knight? Bishop d2 seems okay. Um, if bishop f6, I get to take with check first. So that doesn't look good. I think you have to do something about this. So let's just think about this. Queen a5, and then if bishop d2... Um, what then? Maybe... Well, maybe bishop here first, and then... Let's try this. Bishop e7, bishop e and then trying to play na queen a5. I think the advantage of playing this first is that now white can play castles. Okay, he doesn't go for that. So what happens if knight e4... Just let's check that. Knight e4, knight takes. Bishop takes, this is complicated, knight, yeah, this is probably a little bit too complicated. So I think what I'm going to do is just hit this, and well, okay, so he's given us this huge pawn center. Um, so I guess we're just going to play d5. Um. This knight hasn't got that many squares to go to. Okay, so it's coming into c5. So, I guess stopping that. Okay, if we played queen d6 to stop that, then I think we run into c4. So, we'll let the knight come here, and then we'll, we'll see what we're going to do. White still hasn't castled yet, so he's going to have to be a bit careful. I do like my pawn center here, um, so if we can just get this, if we can get this rolling, then life looks good. So one idea is to play queen c8, hit the f pawn, and then, or maybe queen d7, and then play a rook to the d file. Okay, so queen e2. So we've got this check now if we want it. This queen, this queen check. I'm gonna take this check now. Um, if you can, you can block with the rook for sure. But I think it's a little. It's not. It's not super great. I mean. So let's just see if we play queen d2. I mean, if it's, if queen d2 comes, then white's definitely wasted a move with that. 
question is if there's any way to exploit that. If rook d2, okay, so he's just playing that, so... Yeah, well it feels like I just want to take this off. Um, what else, what else could we do? We could try queen b5 here to just stop the castling. Queen b5, c4, takes, takes. Um, okay, let's try that. Let's just create an issue here for white to deal with this, the king. So if we play queen d3 now, yeah, okay. Well, we could try this tempo move here. Let's try this. And then we're going to play rook takes b5 on queen takes b5. And that's taking the c5 square from the knight. So now, you, you can get castled now, but what about this idea of just d4 now? So d4, hitting the f5 pawn, and getting these pawns rolling, and this knight has got no squares yet. We can't attack it, it's very solid, but it's got no squares. So if black has to play g4 to protect the f5 pawn, then, yeah, okay, so he is playing that move. Um, H, if H6, then just, um, so let's have a think here, and rook E8, rook E8, and then we're going to push with E3 in some lines, maybe play bishop G5, okay, so what about bishop H4, is that, that's interesting, that, opens the threat of e3 now. problem with this move is that we're then giving up on the d-pawn. So let's try this. We want to c4 with takes on passant. The knight's still blocked. Oh, knight, knight can come to b2 now. Knight to b2. Then we're ready to play bishop h4 with our plan of e3. Okay, so that gets out of that. Um, takes, takes, takes. Okay. Let's just see what happens on h5. Maybe just break these pawns up a little bit more. Okay. And just check that I'm not making a mistake here. Okay, so bishop g th g five and I'm really wanting to push on with e three. Again time is the issue here. Let's just do this now. Question is to take with a bishop or the So I'm taking with the bishop here. I'm trying to use this bishop to get some kind of invasion here. I don't know quite how it's gonna happen but Okay. So now we may get the f file. So we're threatening to take twice on f5. So I think you probably have to play takes on g6, and then we've got a check on f8. That's the idea. I think white's king is definitely more vulnerable than black's king. Most important reason is knight's offside. So our rook is protected on rook takes c3. I mean, if I was white, I would tr be trying to play this, be trying to play knight here. Um, so, okay, this is possible now. Um, Alright. Yeah, okay. Yeah, time is the issue, so. Yeah, this doesn't look right either. Ah, and I'm just dropping this. We're going to get the um, pawn on c2, though. And a2's hanging if he checks.
Oh, wow. Haha. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, just run out of time there. Um, yeah. That's a little bit frustrating. I think we were better for the whole game. Um, so... I'm not sure what more is needed except just to play a little bit faster. Um, if we just bring up the analysis board here and then if we just go to some point around here, I mean, I think black is just clearly better. Um, we'll just see how... I mean, again, I feel like maybe there was an opportunity to get a little bit more from the position this knight is very badly placed and I do think at some point we probably had quite a big advantage maybe pawn on half something like that um, let's see yeah I mean what the computer's not that impressed and I felt like this was w worth something here um, just go back a few moves yeah it's just half batter half pawn Okay, so this seems to give away the advantage, actually. Yeah, just nothing really much here. Interesting, it's actually saying it likes white now. Yeah, so I think we obviously chose the wrong plan here. Um, sort of opening up or cashing in. I'm not exactly sure where I went wrong. Um... Let's see if we can find out here. So obviously around here we're you know fairly comfortably better. So yeah, so I don't know if this plan here doesn't seem to be that great doesn't really I mean if anything we're just helping white by getting rid of improving his pawn structure a bit um, I'm not quite sure what black's plan is here I think black was had a nice position but I couldn't make anything happen okay thanks for watching